I'm staying at the Dan Tel Aviv, uh, the Dan Hotel in Tel Aviv, and I'm staying in room 134, and I would like to show you a couple of features that I basically um, like very much about the room. Okay, we're going to close the door, and then I'm going to actually go from left to right to show you the room. The first thing that you see is a giant, giant um, closet. Four sections of the closet. You have you have shelving, and then you also have a hanging space. You have a double hanging space, shelves and double hanging space, space and check out all these um, hangers. Amazing amount of quantity of hangers. This is the other side, so you do not have to call and beg for hangers like in some hotels. And then on the last section, you have more shelving and um, you have the safe deposit, I mean the, the safe for the room. What's great about it, it's at somebody's height, so you don't have to crouch on the floor, you don't have to sit on your tippy toes and, and try to reach the stuff. That's a really, really great feature. As I move into the room, this looks like a nice sitting area. You have nice two armchairs and a table and a television, but if you are traveling with kids, this is also an opening sofa. So the kids can sit and sleep here and have their own TV so you don't have to sit and fight over the TV. While they watch Nickelodeon, you can actually watch another program that's more adult appropriate, like news or a movie. As I move to the right hand side, um, the desk is here, nice chair, there is a place to plug in the electronics and there is a phone if you need to use the phone for anything. I am going to rotate right now. Um, I'm going to show you the bathroom a little later. Beautiful bathroom. But in the meantime, I'm going to also show you the artwork. The room is beautifully colored, um, paint, painted in um, very mute tones of whites and creams. Very elegant, very soothing. You have your controls here for the air conditioning and heat. Some hotels, um, they set the temperature according to the um, season, so even if you're in winter and you're experiencing a heat wave, you're stuck. Here you can just put air conditioning or heating as needed. There's also a very nice feature right here by the door that I forgot to mention as I went in you have a button here that you can press for making the room in the morning if you want or a do not disturb if you don't want to be disturbed you just came off a long flight you want to sleep so housekeeping will not wake you up by knocking on your door loudly or maybe even barging in as you walk from the sitting area which is also um, the opening sofa area you have more um, places to plug in your electronics. Check out this um, carpet, very nice carpet, um, thick, plush, very well kept. You have another armchair here with a table, so you can put electronics or even food. Um, you don't have to fight over any space here. There's plenty of space. There um, is a flat screen TV and then you have the actual king bed. So you have a bed here for the parents, you have a bed for the kids. Perfect for a family traveling. I love a feature about this, uh, and this is unusual, I've never seen this before. Each nightstand has its own phone. So you don't have to sit and reach to the other side of the um, bed and say, hey, you know, answer the phone. One side has the phone, and then the other side has the phone. Not only that, but they also, both nightstands 
have controls to control the light in the room, the lighting. I'm going to rotate the camera slowly so you can just see the room again. Very nice um, wood paneling too. Double curtain. This is the view. It's going to be lovely in two months. They are remodeling the beachfront in Tel Aviv. Um, so we're in March right now of 2013. Hopefully by May this will be ready for the summer. What I also like for families here, some of the hotels in Tel Aviv have actual balconies that you kids can open and just walk out. That's not really recommended. It is on the dangerous side because, um, well, I mean, they can topple over and especially if they're on the high floor, that, that's not a good idea. What the Dan Hotel has, which I like, are just opening windows and it's not that easy to open. So a kid, you have to actually read the instructions, you have to turn it. it, it doesn't turn that easily. An adult can do it, but a kid cannot really do it. It's not at a kid level and uh, it's not that easy to, to do. So these just open slightly. Um, they tilt 180 degrees or something like that, maybe a little less. So there is no real danger of a child flying out of the window, which is again, for family travel purposes, I think that's a really good thing. Last but not least in the room, which I also like very much, I want to show you that the vents for the air conditioning and the heating are all the way on top. They are not blowing on you as you sleep. Some hotels have the vents like right over the bed. That is very, very unpleasant to some people. So here are the vents and you have the temperature control but it doesn't blow over you, on you, while you sleep. I just want to show you a last glimpse of the room. I counted in the room on that side and on this side over 20 lights. I haven't seen a hotel room with so many lights. Usually the problem is that it's dark and you're trying to like get hold of a standing lamp so you can get a little bit of light. Over 20 lights. Wonderful, wonderful lighting. And of course, not only do they have the wall, um, the, the lights in the wall, but they also have standing lamps. So they have one on each nightstand and then they have one that is near the desk. Very well designed room, very spacious, very comfortable, very well kept, uh, a pleasure to sit in, very inviting. I think that the only problem that a family would have in this hotel room is to leave because um, by the amount of closet space and the comfort, they might not want to leave. This is Marguerite Frankis for TravelingMom.com. As you go into the bathroom, the bathroom is very spacious, again, very well appointed, very well planned and thought of in terms of whether you're traveling just two people or with a family. First of all, what I like here about the bathtub, it has a bathtub, so already that's a great thing. They have one handheld right there on the bottom if you have a child or you want to wash a child and they also have a shower head if the kid is older. Grab bars. Grab bars are wonderful and with the anti-slip on the bottom of the tub. Now another thing that's really great you don't have that shower curtain that you have to sit and stick to while you take the shower. They have a glass door. However, they do not have a glass door all the way, so it's not dangerous. They just have a partial glass door. So usually on that side, the adults go and um, take the shower. Here, down here, usually when you are in the tub or a parent washes the kid, then you don't have anything that you have complete and easy access. Also, I am counting three grab bars on all sides. 
So there is one here on the right, on the left, and another one on top. That is very secure, very well thought of. And of course, a, like a little sitting area, which is great. The usual phone in the bathroom. You have a sink here with, they, they give you a very, very nice uh, kit with handmade soaps. One is rosemary, one is um, a hand cream and a foot cream. So, I mean, this is like total pampering. And then they also have their own shampoo and um, body lotion and um, gel and conditioner that the hotel supplies with all the little you know, kits that you need um, just for the stay. They have a um, mirror that is very always very useful. A lot of lighting, again, in the bathroom. Probably one of the best lit bathrooms that I've ever seen in a hotel. A giant mirror. I mean, look at the size. It's a whole wall. A bidet. They do supply robes. Very nice. And then, as I'm turning you again inside, another sink and the commode. So when you are, um, again, with a family and, you, you know, two kids want to brush or an adult and a kid want to use the bathroom or brush their teeth or wash their hands, two sinks is always a great idea. Great idea, very useful beautiful bathroom, marble, marble tile, mute colors, wonderfully lit so you can see everything that you need to do and very comfortable and with all the safety features that you can think of. This is Marguerite Frankes reporting for Traveling Mom at the Dan Hotel in Tel Aviv.